Hello, and welcome to the first ever official Classic Mini NLA video. A customer reached out to me a little while back and asked whether I'd put together a complete throttle body assembly for them using some new and uh, refurbished parts. So what you see in front of you is all of this, uh, all of that stuff laid out before I do the assembly. Over a series of videos, I'll try and show you how all of this goes together. In part one, I'm going to put the air filter assembly together. Uh, and this is exciting moment when I put it all into a box, ready to take down to the workshop. We're in the shed and we're going to go and put the bits and pieces for the air filter housing and the air filter out on the thing, on the bench so we can see what we're doing. Uh, that's the base, that's the lid, that's the KNNL filter, that's the snorkel, uh, that's a valvey thing, that is the actual valve, valve seal, valve fixing. That's the air sensor, a few screws, you can fit that thing, fixing clips, that fits that and that together, and a vacuum pipe. Right, let's get rid of these, let's all start putting it together. Right, let's put this all together then. So this is the the bottom of the air filter housing. Uh, if you're buying these second hand, uh, make sure these are in place. They tend to snap off here. It's quite important. Fits into the top of the throttle body and keeps it all uh, from spinning round. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in. This is a uh, the air sensor, uh, air filter se air sensor. Uh, basically the they don't break very often, but they do get sooted up, so you can just clean them uh, and pop it back in again. It goes into the underside of the air filter housing, just like this. Screws in. And once it's in snugly, uh, it's a three-quarter spanner. And just tidy up a little bit. So there you go. So that is the air sensor in the bottom of the air filter housing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to fit what's known as, well, it's known as a sensor, yeah, but it's a mechanical sensor. As you can see, this one's been cleaned up uh, and it will fit in uh, like this into the two holes here, if you can see those. Basically what this does is uh, it's connected to the, each of these is connected to a vacuum pipe. This one is connected to the back of the inlet manifold. This one's connected to this, uh, which goes to the uh, snorkel. Uh, basically what this does is uh, controls the air that goes in and out, uh, the warmth of the air that's coming in and out of the snorkel. Anyway, enough of that. Right, let's first of all put a seal in. I'm just going to pop that over here. Just a little seal like this. Uh, it's got some fuzzy stuff on one side and a white stuff end on that end. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pop this through there, like that, and then we'll pop those through those two holes there. Next we have to flip it over, and you can see the popping through. This is the fastener for it. Um, if you can see that, there are two sets of little clips which grip onto these two vacuum pipes. So I've relieved them a little bit, so it's easier to push on. Uh, so I'll put that on now, like that. But now it's a bit uh, moving around the place, so I'm just gonna grab a screwdriver, try not to stab myself. Uh, and I'm just gonna push down the little clips that are in here, just so it secures, they're secured against the side of the vacuum pipe clips. Doesn't take much pressure. I'm not doing it well enough here. <laughs> there we go. Maybe we 
Das Bett ist bei einem Komitee der Jahre. Cool, that is now securely on there. They're all good. Right, on to the next stage. Right, next stage, let's just move this one out of the way. Uh, we're going to bring the snorkel into action here. So, um, yeah, this is a snorkel. It's got a, um, like a mechanism, a valve here. You can see me pushing that there. That's controlled by this, which is attached to the vacuum that you saw earlier, attached to the little sensor on the bottom of the pack. Uh, you'll feel, see me fit this in a little bit. Um, basically, it's got a, an extra piece here. And this, um, if you've got a standard SPI, that fits into uh, the exhaust. Um, it's got a like a heat, heat shield around the exhaust, and it fits into that quite snugly. And the idea is, um, via that valve that you see in there, uh, it opens and pulls warmer air into the into the air intake, which is better for the engine at certain points. So um, you can just clean that up a little bit. Uh, it will get pretty sooty in there pretty sooty in there, I don't think you can really see in there, but um, there you go. Right, so you just, the three screws that go in here get pretty rusty, so I've just got some replacement screws for those, so I'm just going to put those in now. Um, won't be the most exciting footage in the world, but there you go. Put in the screwdriver, just pop those in. I'm replacing with stainless ones, just because who likes rusty stuff, eh? Right, that's all done. There we go. Right, snorkel done. Let's put that down and get ready for the next bit. Right, so we are now, this is the bit, the important bit, let's put the actual filter in. So uh, I've got here, this is a K&N replacement air filter, this performance air filter. Uh, that you can put a standard one in if you wish. But basically you just put it in, I've put it in already. You can see there's a ring and it just needs to fit snugly in there. Um, you need to take care of these filters. Um, they last a long time, forever in fact, I think they're guaranteed for life. But they can be cleaned if, if they get dirty, but they shouldn't really get that dirty to be honest with you. So that's in there now, as you can see, it looks lovely, it's a nice snug fit. And now we're going to put the lid on, uh, which is there. And that should just snugly fit on there, like that. Nice, nice and easy. Right, this is the, this is the fun bit. I've got some uh, cleaned up clips here. These don't always go in so easy, so this could take some time. Um, so basically, you're, they, they fit in, that little bit there fits in there. And there's one position that fits in and pops in nicely. Um, sometimes I have to use a hammer to put them in. And it's going to be the same here, I think. And I might have to do that. But it's not in, I'll keep, I'll, I'll put them all in, in the right place and then you'll see me hammering the hell out of it in a minute, I just think, to get these in. There's a particular knack. No, it's not going to go in. Right, let's go and find the hammer, shall we? Hammer. Okay, it's the rock. Just going to pop these in. These bad boys in. There's one. See that one popped out as I did that. <laughs> Bet's on me hammering my finger. No, I didn't. Did it go in? Don't know. We'll find out. Next one. Actually, put it the right way round. That one didn't go in. That one did. I did have my finger then. We're in. Okay, they're all in. Let's put that lock back. Uh, 
get it the right way around. Okay, so these just all really firmly clip. For some reason people lose these. I have no idea how they lose them because they don't often fall out <laughs> those holes underneath. Right, so there we go. That's that bit finished. To the final piece. Right, here we are, final bit, um, really, really easy bit, hopefully. Uh, so we've assembled the main housing, all looks good. So we're now gonna put the snorkel uh, into there. Uh, it's got these two little clips at the top and the bottom, which uh, equal, uh, ma marry up to these, these holes here. You can see there's another one underneath here. So yeah, we're just gonna pop that in here. Uh, and it should just snugly clip like that, all done. Final, final piece is to connect this, which is the vacuum pipe. Uh, the black end fits to here, and then the, the brown bit goes underneath. So as you can see the orientation. So just pop that on lightly to start off with. Okay, and then we if we put it on the underside. Uh, this brown connection connect, connects to this vacuum nipple here. So you want to get it there. Get it over there and just squeeze it. You can always come back and re-push it down if you wish a bit more, but you just sort of rock it backwards and forwards so it's in. That's nice and snug now. And I'm going to flip it back over because I only put this side in lightly. Uh, and you just want to push that just a little bit more on. There we go. That's all good. And that is it finished. A full fill, 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 yeah. air filter housing all done. Please do like the video, of course if you like what you've seen, um, and follow us on the YouTube channel. Also worth popping over on Facebook to uh, Classic Mini NLA and liking the page. There's lots more information and stuff that I've written about over there. Lots of pretty pictures too. Everybody likes a pretty picture. And if you can't wait for the next instalment, this is enticingly about the SBI throttle body assembly and how to put it all back together. Bet you can't wait. Thanks for watching. Bye.